Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit. This is episode 50. Thank you all so much for being here on this podcast as we learn to grow through the highs and lows of our entrepreneurial experience, our leadership technique and style, as well as even just our basic everyday living opportunities, organizing our lives, putting our lives in a position where it all makes sense. You know what makes it easier for us? You know, how's everybody doing tonight? We do have 14 people in the chat, September the 19th, a wonderful, wonderful time. Well, really it's the 18th, but I'm recording for the 19th. I'm putting this podcast together also for my YouTube channel. So for those wonderful people who are on the stream and replay of YouTube and the premiere, bless you and thank you so much for being here as well. So Shining Entrepreneurs, how are we feeling tonight, Kennedy? How's everything going, Josh, in the house? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. E and Pat, hey, how are you? Welcome and thank you so much, so much for being here tonight. We're going to keep going. And everyone else in the room, welcome, welcome, welcome. So tonight we want to talk about believing in yourself. You know, there comes a time in this life when you just got to ask yourself the question, if I don't believe in myself. Who will? Who will invest in me? Who will give me the opportunity to grow? If not me, nobody can blame anyone for using them, manipulating them, playing the, the role with them. Because we know, entrepreneurs, we know, and a belief in ourselves is the thing that I want to talk to you about tonight. Creating healthy routines. You know, it took everything for me to get onto this podcast and do a podcast recording tonight because I felt as though I really didn't have anything to talk about. But then something said, how can you tell someone to be inspiring and to be empowering and to practice routines if you don't do it yourself. Other than that, I'm hypocritical. That is the same thing of me talking about morals and values and ethics and principles that is going to sustain a business over term, long term, and then creating fallacies to get people to, you know, buy into what I'm selling them. There comes a time where I'm, I teach what I sell. It is very important because that is a strength within my growth that shows me that it's not about greed. It's not about, you know, trying to be the only one doing what I do. It's about consistency. And I want to create leaders that are going to be entrepreneurially impacted by financial abundance opportunities, just existence, you know, and it was so amazing because Pat offered me a, when are you coming to New York? I'm like, wow, now I'm being invited to other states and I want to be able to express the motivation that I give on these podcasts, Chronicles of a Nonprofit or Kelly Appeal TV. Um, uh, forward focused Emerald Mystery Radio. You know, these are things that we can really empower others to do. And if you are interested in learning how to do your own podcast, your own broadcast, your own, you know, channel, that's what I'm here to help you do. And you guys are doing a great job. My entrepreneurs, you know, you're stepping out on faith, regardless of how afraid you are, regardless of how young you are, you're putting your investment in yourself. You're taking that money from that W-2 and you're putting it into a W-9. 
You're taking that independent contractor position and you're putting it into your own independent way to formulate and build your own brand. And that's powerful. Very powerful. Putting yourself in a position where you have people around you who will empower you and inspire you to feel good about your desires, your dreams. Not the dreams you're just thinking about, but the dreams that you're actually performing on a day-to-day basis. You don't share with everyone, entrepreneurs, your dream of a vision for the future. You do that in silence. You share amongst those who are like-minded, not people who can be jealous of you. And before you know it, they're trying to sabotage and knock you down. But if you go so far ahead of the the game in silence, they won't have an opportunity to knock you down because they won't know where to go. They won't know the people you know. You won't be around the same clique of individuals. You'll be creating your own manifestations, your own power. And those witches that fly around looking for the sabotaging opportunities, they will never, ever have it if you don't give it to them. That's one thing I recognized, especially during grieving processes, times where things are just not healthy in your life. And you're trying to grow and you're trying to motivate yourself to go to school. You're trying to motivate yourself to be a parent. You're trying to motivate yourself to be a young entrepreneur. People find the crack in the surface just so they can try to jackhammer and destroy the foundation. And it's really sad. And it took me a lot to learn that right there. And I'm giving that little pearl of wisdom to those who choose to want it. I'm not casting my pearls to swine. I'm giving my pearls to those who choose to desire to want it because they understand it. Another thing we should do when we're building our self belief in self is to feed our minds with the good positive seeds that are going to grow positive plants and greenery and foliage and money and finances and opportunity. Feed your mind. Listen to the podcast that makes sense to the design in which you're trying to go. Get into business development uh, coaching classes where you listen to people that make sense, that make it make sense. And I'm not, you know, saying that everybody is going to be on the same page when it comes to business. I talk morals, values, ethics, principles. I do less financial um, uh, podcasts because everyone knows how to calculate. Everyone knows how to get a CPA. Everyone knows how to get a financial planner. Everyone knows those opportunities. But if you are a business entrepreneur growing into the Scales to Success LLC program here in Youngstown, Ohio. And I'm going to give you my information right here for you to take and use, and it will be right in front of you within a few seconds. But if you are a part of this entrepreneur program, this business development program, you're already going to know, and you're going to get tied into processes of how to find that financial advisor, how to find someone who can generate the funds and the finances in which you need in order to be eloquently positioned for your brand, for your craft. And not everyone is a bookkeeper. So we need to purchase time to hire a bookkeeper if we need to. So we share all that with you in the whole business development process. And uh, so, yeah, feeding your mind, learning how to do the things that you want to do for your business so that you don't have to worry about not reporting things to the IRS because you're backing everything. You're dotting all your I's, you're crossing all your T's. You are going into uh, information after the CPA has told you um, it told you what to do. And, and, and your certified um, 
professional, your financial officer is telling you the CFO, she's they're they're telling you exactly what you need to do and you're doing the research behind them. And you're the one who is signing all of the documentation over to the IRS. You're not leaving that in the hands of other people. You're doing it yourself. You're making sure that you're dotting all your I's and crossing all your T's because in the end, any audits will come back specifically to the entrepreneur. So feeding your mind and being um, aware and researching the the validity of what is being stated to you, even in this program, the Scales to Success LLC program, I tell you to go and do your research and find out. And then you get back to me. But many times as you get back to me and we're conversing back and forth, if you find something that I maybe had a, you know, a little lag in as far as, you know, updated information, share that. Because that means you're on top of your game. And it shouldn't be that many opportunities that should look like that when you're dealing with a professional business consultant, because that consultant, that consultant should know exactly what you're telling them. Because otherwise they're not updated. But yet, you know, you don't, you, you must understand that everyone is a human being and not every time, but every now and again, there are going to be times where you're not going to be so on top of the game as you would normally be because things change. Okay. So feed that mind, feed that mind, let that get through to your psyche and don't let your, don't let your anxiety Don't let your stress, don't let your situations break you down to the point where you're unable to move forward. I had a young couple come in to see me today and they're getting ready to put their son's room together. And one parent is so happy and excited that she wants to do it herself, do it yourself project. She wants to be Home Depot, Team Home Depot. But then dad is more, you know, a realist. He's looking at the cost of how much everything is going to cost in order to get this job done. Nobody paid attention to the square footage of the job itself. Nobody paid attention to the tools that would be needed to put the project together. But yes, there is ambition there. There is there is success there. And I want this couple to understand, if you're listening to me right now, I want you to understand that you you guys are doing it the right way. It is not rocket science to put a floor down. However, there is a process. So when you prepare that process, like I told you today, make sure you go in it with the concepts of what are we going to do? And if you don't know what to do, then you get you someone who can help you figure out what to do like you did. Go to Home Depot, go to Lowe's, go to Harbor Freight, go to, you know, um, different hardware, Ace Hardware, and then you ask them, what is the process? And then you go home and you research and you make sure that you have what it takes. Google will give you a list of, you know, how much anything is at square footage or per unit, whatever. And sometimes you can even purchase things and have them delivered even at a cheaper cost. So don't just jump into it because if I don't hurry up and do this, I might not be able to feel up to it when it's time. No, prepare yourself, schedule yourself, plan yourself. I'm getting ready to put in my uh, my fifth annual business success seminar and I'm trying to get my keynote speaker here and I'm trying to figure out what is the contract going to look like? Will I have it enough time in six months to really put this thing together the way I want to see it happen. So I'm, I'm elevating myself. I'm, I'm putting my thoughts into motion and what I'm doing is planning my manifestation. So everybody wants to be a success, but taking your time and being patient because you listen, that's going to help you motivate yourself to do things. Even if sometimes it's hard for you to even recognize that you can do it. 
You know, you don't know how this floor is going to turn out, but you know that you're going to do your best for your son and make sure that you guys are happy. Um, and again, it's not rocket science, so please don't make it so difficult that there's so much to do and so much research out there that you put fear into the equation and anxiety in order to, you know, try to perfect the game and then end up forgetting the whole project. That's another thing that can happen. We can overwhelm ourselves. So don't let fear or anxiety stop you and, and focus on the belief in you. Go within you, find what it takes in order for you to maintain and make things happen for you, no matter how weird or crazy it looks, but have that strength within you to say, I'm going to pursue and I'm going to win this because I have faith in myself. And even if you mess up, it's going to be okay. You tried. And if you continue to continue to keep trying, something is so much better when you do it a hundred times versus when you did it the first time. The first time is its hardest. If you do it a hundred more times, whatever it is, whether it's etching, uh, edging a lawn or etching an art, art form or learning how to lay down a floor. If you do a hundred floors, I guarantee you your hundredth floor will be a hundred times better than that first floor. And then finally work on you continue to work on the good within you continue to build your brand, build yourself and let no one weaken your ability to think for you because that's what's happening. You're formulating a plan, a process, and no one can maneuver or distract you when you believe in yourself. So that's what we're doing. The belief in self is the power behind today's podcast. So thank you guys so much for being here. And thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this podcast. It's been a very busy day. I love all my shining entrepreneurs. Continue to keep learning the moral lessons behind business development and realizing that you have it within you. And all you got to do is just take the next step forward. And before you know it, you're doing this thing with precision because that's what happens. You do it with precision. You manifest your dream world, your entrepreneur experience, and, and it is awesome. So thank you. Thank you. And as always, be consistent, be real, and never, ever forget who you are. Belief in self is the key. Peace as always. Good night.